what's going on guys welcome back to this video today we're doing over the wire war games and we're going to tackle down the level 18 so the last video we did it was on level 17 today we're doing level 18 and i'm going to remind you guys that nightest level or nightest challenges are web application penetration testing challenges so we head over to nightest 18 after we provide the password of the previous level and we see a login form okay we click on the view source code since this is kind of white uh, box pen testing we have access to the source code of the application so we click on view source code and the first thing we notice here is this line this line defines a variable named max id this variable equals to 640 if we read through the code this line there is a function to create an id and as you can see here the id is generated to be between one and the maximum id that has been defined earlier in the code to be equal or to, to be equal to 640 so scrolling down later we see here the function responsible for generating the session and here what we get if we have um, the correct session so basically the problem in this code lies here the session id or this number is used to generate the session id okay now session ids if the attacker is able to guess them or generate them or find the correct session id for the user they are looking uh, after the attacker will be able to access the user's profile without the need to uh, find their password so we call this session hijacking and what's the problem here the problem is the session is defined or is generated is a number generated between 1 and 640 this means that most of the users who are registered on this website okay as uh, users okay these users they have session ids between 1 and 640 which means if we are able to guess which user id belongs to uh, which user we're going to be able to get access to any user profile so that's the problem in this code now the secure alternative to this is to randomly generate the session id we cannot define a specific value or range for the session id okay so what to do here we can solve this challenge using two methods we can either either do it using python we create a script and we brute force the session id of the admin user basically we're gonna um, try numbers between 1 and 640 with every session see which one ends up with the admin user or we're gonna need to use perp suite which i'm going to use in this video because we have done many uh, challenges where we solve the challenge using python today we're going to use perp suite let's go back and open perp suite let's first take a look at the um, request so let's say we type admin admin login you're logged in as a regular user login as admin to retrieve credentials for 19 let's go back uh, sorry let's go back to the challenge itself so there is no log out button here okay we're gonna need to open this one more time
All right. So this is the Foxy proxy. I'm going to need to reconfigure this again. So here we're configuring the Foxy proxy to run with Perp Suite. And the port was 8080. Save. Alright, now let's simulate a login request using the username admin and the password admin. So now we can intercept the response because we want to see the cookie assigned. So do intercept the response. Let's take a look here. As you can see guys, in the response, we see the session ID is set to 498. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to take this and send it to the intruder. Okay, so now we're gonna forward and now we're going again to set the intercept or going again to intercept the request. So we refresh. So now let's simulate the request one more time. All right, so this is the request again. And here, notice that the request is get request. And Another thing to note here is the session ID. So we're going to do here, we now we want to brute force the session ID. We want to find the correct number that is tied to the admin account. Okay, so we want to send this to the intruder. Before doing that, we have to remove this. Somehow we have to remove this line. We only want to keep the session ID. And then it's ready to be sent to the intruder. Go ahead. Here we define the payload positions. Going to clear and set the position from scratch. So here we highlight the session ID and we click on add. And now the session ID is highlighted. Next we define the payload type. So we set the type to numbers and here we set the sequence. So we're going to start say from zero and go all the way up till we reach 1000 you can define more but don't define less than 700 or 640 and then we go to start the attack all right so now the attack is starting as you can see here all the requests have similar length in the response take a look here most of them are 608 608 607 uh, sorry 67 ends with 67 ends with 68 so we're gonna look for a response that is kind of very different in size like far away from uh, this length so that we know that we have a different response for this request we take a look at the request and we take a note of the session id and then we're gonna try it let's wait now Okay, so the intruder finished and here I found the ID to be 119 that generated a different res response. So we're going to put it as the new session ID and we're going to say forward. Checking the browser and as you can see guys, this is the password for the next level. So the ID, the correct ID was 119. And there you go guys, you have it for this challenge. Let's go ahead now and try them. So copy that and we go to Natus 19. And indeed now we are logged into the next challenge. So that was it guys. I hope you liked the video and I'm going to see you later.